Hey, we have on the board this long trig integral sine cubed x secant squared x plus cos x sine x secant x dx. Okay, let's get started with this problem. What I'm looking at, we've got a big mess of trig functions, and usually what I want to do is find a way to simplify these trig functions before I look for any new substitutions or anything like that. And maybe we can just make this whole thing a lot easier. The first thing I want to notice we have a cosine and a secant, and secant is just one over cosine. So we can essentially just right off the bat cancel that out because that's just still gonna be a one. Then from there, I notice we have actually, we're adding two expressions, but we have a sine in common, so we can factor that out. So we'll have the integral of sine x, sine squared x, secant squared x plus one. And then I notice if I just change this secant squared, if we write this as one over cosine squared x, we're gonna have sine squared over cosine squared, and that's just gonna be tan squared. But then we have this nice identity, tan squared x plus one is actually just secant squared x. Next, what I can do is let's take the secant squared, and we'll split this up as secant times secant. And then what I'll do is I'll take one of them and I'll write it over here as a one over cosine x pairing it up with sine x, this is just gonna be tan x. So we'll rewrite this, and we're gonna have this piece as tan x times the secant we had left over here, secant x dx. But the integral of this is just gonna be secant x plus c, and we're done.